Suppose we are measuring some characteristic of a population. For example, this variable x might be the height of some individuals. And suppose that we measure a second variable of those same individuals. For example, we might be measuring the height and we might be measuring the weight. We would suspect that we, we might be interested in knowing how well the height predicts what the weight of an individual is. We could visually get a feel for that by plotting points. We could take an individual, measure what their height is, and see what their weight is. Maybe there's another individual that's very tall and their weight is more. Another individual that's quite tall and their weight is quite a bit more. And so on, as we begin to plot these points, we might anticipate that the points would, would fit something like this as we keep plotting individuals. Maybe there's these two individuals that have the same height, but they have uh, different weights. Okay, and so on. But we would suspect that in some sense, the height gives an indication of what the weight is. What would, so we can get a visual feel for that by looking at a sample of individuals and plotting the, the points associated with them for both of those measurements and uh, get a feel for how, how nearly that fits in a straight line. I'd like to generate just quickly some sample data to, to kind of illustrate this. I'm going to pick a random variable. I'm going to take a, a variable x. I'm going to pick from a random norm from a normal distribution, I'm going to pick at random 10 points. This distribution has a mean of 20 and a standard deviation of 6. Here's an interesting function from R. We're going to actually build a new function. I'm going to call it f. It's going to have an input of x, and what it's going to do is give an output of 0 0.3 times x minus 4. So actually it's going to pick the y value on this straight line for each one of those x's. So if we did that, if we picked, I'm going to call it y1, for each one of the x's that we picked up here, we're going to uh, pick a y1. Then r has this function. It's a very useful function. X, plot the x values against those y values. Uh, when we highlight this and run that function, then it produces this plot and of course those points fit exactly on a straight line because that's how they were produced. So let's change things a little bit. I'm going to remove this plot and put some static on each one of those points. So now from a random, from a normal distribution we're going to pick 10 random points from a distribution that has a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 0 0.5. We're going to add that little bit of static to each one of the y values. Now let's look at the plot. Highlight those values and run the plot. And Okay, so each one of those y values were slid off a little bit by some static, but you'll notice they're still pretty much kind of fitting in a straight line of some kind here. Okay, it doesn't fit exactly on the straight line, but it uh, fits somewhat like that. So that's the first command that you want to learn is this plot command. If you have some x values and some y values where the x and y uh, is a measurement for each one of the individuals in the, in the sample, then we could plot it and get a feel for how well this x value is predicting that y value. Now R has a great function called the linear model. And what it does is if you've got these two variables, uh, x and y, then you could see how well the, the best line that fits, the best line fit, that predicts y <coughs> as predicted by x. So let's run that data. And down here you'll notice that it's telling us what that line is. It tells us the y-intercept is going to be a negative uh, 2.87 and the x value is the, not the x value, but the slope is going to be 0 0.316. Uh, let's look at the plot that goes with that. 
So on this particular run, that plot is right here. You'll notice that that y-intercept, there was a line going on here. You can kind of imagine that the best fit line would have a y-intercept down here at a negative something or another. They're suggesting that it ought to be at a negative 4 something and that it's got a slope of about 0.3. Now each time we run this script we get a different setting because the X's uh, end up being being changed by that random selector. The static ends up being different so we could kind of experiment and see what happens as we do that time and time again. Now the Y-intercept has changed and the slope has changed a little bit and there's the actual plot, that collection of points. R can add a line to those plots. So let's run another run of this. And uh, now it tells, it tells us what the, the y-intercept is, what the slope is. And when we look at the plot, we've also got the best line fit through that data. So the key commands that I wanted you to learn in this video are the plot command, the linear model command, which actually tells you the best fitting line, the AB line of the linear model, which actually adds that line to the plot, and then finally the correlation coefficient. The correlation coefficient is going to be a number between minus 1 and 1. The closer that number is to 1, <coughs> the closer this data fits to the best fit line. If it's exactly one, then the data fits exactly on that, on that uh, best fit line. Usually it'll be a little bit less than that. The closer to zero that the correlation co coefficient is, then the more spread out this is. The closer to a negative one that it is, again, the closer the points fit on a straight line, and the line will have a negative slope in that particular case. So let's run this script again. It'll again develop, it'll again, again generate a random set of X's, a random set of static, uh, plot the points, and so on. So let's run that. So now in this run, we're getting a Y intercept of negative 4 point something, a uh, slope of about 0.33, and uh, the correlation coefficient is pretty high. It's a 0 0.94. So let's look at that. So the, the points are fitting fairly close to the line. Now let's look at some points that are spread out quite a bit more. Let's add more static. What I'm going to do is change this standard deviation in the static so that it, uh, it's at about 5 or something there. Tremendous amount of static. So now let's run the script again calculate a new set of X's and uh, now we'll be adding that increased amount of static. So now we've got an uh, X-intercept, uh, a slope of the line. We've got the correlation coefficient has dropped somewhat. It, it's around a 0.6 now. Let's look at the graph and you can see that the points are kind of spread out a little bit more. Okay, we've got these points that are that are kind of off the chart a bit. Okay, that's the idea. Uh, those are the key functions that I wanted you to learn. The plot, the linear model plot, the AB line of the linear model, and the correlation.